Hello and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing a video all about what I pack in my kids carry-on hand luggage when we go on a long haul flight or a flight in general. And I have three children who are seven, five and two. I've actually done a couple of videos like this previously and people seem to have enjoyed them and they've gone down quite well. So I thought I would do another one today. We are actually off to Orlando, which we are so, incredibly excited about and so this is quite Disney themed because obviously we are going to Disney World and so what I thought I would do is I would show you what I have packed in their hand luggage. I'm not going to show you every single thing in all three of them because they're quite similar the things that I have bought but I'm going to show you the kind of things I buy and hopefully it will give you some tips if you are going on a flight. But just to give you a little bit of background, if you are new to my channel, my name is Katie. I post videos three times a week on a Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I get such, it sounds really silly, but I get such a joy in packing my kids a plane bag. It's become like a little bit of a guilty pleasure of mine. I spend a long time before we're going on a flight searching for things. I often find things on offer and I store them away and I just really love doing it. It's become a little bit of a start of the holiday treat for my children because I tend to not show them what they have got until we're up in the air and the seatbelt signs have been switched off. So there's this whole element of excitement. They push their bags through the airport but they're not allowed to look in them and I just generally find it, I really enjoy doing it. So I even have my mum on the case now. Sometimes she will find the odd thing and she will message me about it or she will get it for me. And it's not always new things but often I tend to sort of look in different shops and kind of store things up over the previous months. But I'm gonna get started and show you what I am packing for them. So these are the suitcases we're taking. I think I've mentioned these a couple of times before. They're really good. They're quite tatty now, but they're really hard wearing. They have got this hard case, which is good. And then they've got this adjustable handle, which is good because it means if they get fed up of pulling them around the airport, we can do it. But to be honest, they quite enjoy like pulling them around and they hold quite a lot. They've got a zip up compartment, which is good as well. And yeah, they're really good. They're by Child Wheels. I have no idea where we got them from. We didn't get them from them direct, but they're really, really good. And then I just use this for my son. This bag is just from Poundland and I just put it within my bag because he is too little to have his own bag. He just won't carry it. So these are the ones we use and yeah, they are really good. So I will quickly whiz through what I'm packing for them all. This is for Maddie, my eldest, who is seven. This is for Lottie, who is five. And this is for Ren, who is two. And I will put these all into the suitcase. I've just got them out because I'm showing you. So I will just try and find little things that I know will keep them entertained. I don't know about anybody else's kids, but my kids just love just random little things that they can open and play with. So I will start off and I will always get each of them a magazine. So Maddie, my eldest, is football crazy, so I got her this one. And they also just love all the stuff that comes with it, which is just a load of rubbish, really. But And then I got Lottie, a Peter Rabbit one, and I got Ren, a Peppa Pig one, because he's Peppa Pig crazy at the moment. And then after the magazine, I will always get them some sort of crayons or pens. So this time, this is probably the most expensive thing I have got for them. I got them these Crayola mess-free coloring. They've never tried them before, but apparently it's special paper and then these pens only work with this paper. So I thought that they would be really good for a plane because it means that we wouldn't get felt tip everywhere. And so hopefully those will be quite good. I bought those from Maddie and then these were buy one get one free. So I got a Paw Patrol one for Ren, I'm sorry for Lottie and the little pens come inside. And then I also got a Peppa Pig one for Ren. And then I also like to pack them some sort of activity book because the flight is nine and a half hours, so it's quite a long time. And so this time I have got them these, which I got from the works. I just, as I see them, I get them and then I just put them away. So this is a Tangled Mosaic Sticker by Numbers. They love these sticker by number books, so I thought that they would really love this and it's Disney themed. So I got the same one for Lottie as well. 
and then I've mentioned these in my previous video I did on their carry-on luggage but I can't rate these enough. I got this in the works and it was £3. They have already used half of these but there's so many. Look, there's a thousand different activities and 500 stickers and this is quite small as well and it massively keeps them entertained. If I show you, there's just all sorts of different little kind of activities to do for each thing doodles, who's who, mazes, art, and they love these. And like I said, that was three pounds. I really like these. Like I said, they have used this one, but I would always buy them again if they didn't. And then in terms of other stuff, I always get them some sort of notebook because I really like them to do a scrapbook of the adventures that they have. So I got them this one. This is a Mickey Mouse one from Primark. And I just really loved this. I thought that they could then write a little kind of scrapbook for each day and put tickets in there and stuff and it just means it's a really nice memory for them to keep so I got them both one of those and they also I also got a little matching mini or Mickey Mouse pen so they will love that and then in terms of everything else it's just random little stuff really I got them both a Disney book because I thought that they could read that on the plane they love books so I got Maddie Finding Dory and I got Lottie, there's Lottie's, I don't even know what I've done with it, maybe I didn't get Lottie one, I'm sure I did, I don't know what I've done with it, and then I got them this Star Wars and Finding Dory putty, they love like slime and anything like that, but slime's obviously quite messy for on a plane, whereas putty's a little bit better, so I got them those, I just got those, I think they were like 20p on eBay or something, and then these I saw the other day were half price in Tesco's. I don't even know what they are. What are they called? Squishies or sushis or something. And they're a Disney version. I think they were 99p because um, they were half price. So I got them both one of those. I got them something to enjoy and eat on the plane. So I got them these coins. Chocolate coins are really good as well for toddlers. Even though it's not ideal that they're eating loads of chocolate, you have to have snacks on a plane. And I find that these are really good because it takes Ren, my two-year-old, ages to undo them. So it's like entertaining as well. And then because we're going to Disney, I don't normally put these in, but we have got them a autograph book each. My mum actually bought these for them as a present, which was really kind of her. And I don't know if you can see, but it says Maddie's autograph graph book so they've each got a personalized one if you're going to Disney I definitely recommend getting an autograph book you can get them there but they are so expensive when you're over there and then we got Maddie some Disney top trumps which she's had before but I've just popped them in and then I don't know if I've mentioned this one so I got them a little Toy Story egg it was 99p or a pound from the pound shop so I know they will love those always pack their headphones so they can watch the iPads or plug into the TVs on the back. I got them some ears because we're going to Disney. These were 99p I think for four from eBay so that was really good so we've all got a pair. Uh, pack some crayons as well which you'll see for Lottie's. And then I bought them a little, um, it's not even going to go off now, there you go, a little uh, ghost because we're going over Halloween or near Halloween and that was a pound from the pound shop. They just like little random things that they can open. And then I got them these, I got them two sets. So these are little Disney characters. They were advertised on eBay as cake toppers and I want to say they were five pounds for like all of these. So it was really good value and I know that they will love playing with those on the plane and also when we get there. And then the only other thing that I got in Maddie's is this. So again, my mum got this, which was a really lovely treat for them. And it's called Magical Moments Trivia. And apparently it goes off in the parks. So you can play it in the parks as you walk around. So it's like a little computer and it just kind of answers questions and things. So I know that they will really, really like that. And then really similar for Lottie, pretty much exactly the same thing. I got her some Percy pumpkins, but that will be to share for the whole family, but I'm just putting them in hers. And then exactly the same things in terms of the autograph book and the scrapbook. I got Lottie these happy family cards, which again, I think were 99p, something like that. And then other than that, I think Lottie's are pretty much the same. I just divided these and split them up between the two of them. 
And yeah, I think Lottie's is pretty much the same. And then if we move on to Ren's, obviously Ren is two. He doesn't have his own bag yet, so I will be carrying this. So he hasn't got quite as much, but I got him, like I said, a Peppa Pig magazine. And then I got the buy one, get one free Peppa Pig Crayola Colour Wonders. I'm really looking forward to trying these. I hope that they are as good as they sound. I got him some sticker books because you can't go wrong with toddlers and sticker books. This one he has already had, so we have got half the stickers missing, but he loves diggers, so I put that in. And then I also got him again from eBay, this Mickey Mouse sticker scenes book, just to kind of keep in with the Disney theme. He loves stickers, although he never sticks them in the book, he sticks them all over the back of the plane, and then I have to spend ages picking them off. <laughs> And then I got him this little Peppa Pig Masham, which was on offer in Tesco's, just because he loves Peppa Pig, so he'll like to open that. I got him this little, what do you call that, like Etch-a-Sketch thing, again, just to keep him entertained. It was super, like, I think it was 20p or 50p or something like that from eBay, but he will love that. He's obviously got an autograph book as well. He's got another little pound pumpkin which isn't going off from Poundland and then I also got him this from Poundland which is three little cars and they have keys which aren't ideal on the plane but I thought he could drive them around on the tray and yes that is what I am packing for them now I need to pack it all up and that is it. That is what I am packing in my children's carry-on luggage. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a really big thumbs up if you liked it and do leave me a comment and thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!